I've got my snippers, I've got my clippers, I've got my wire cutter, I've got mini small lava rock and a pot and its corresponding mask and I have ceramis underneath me. So welcome back everybody. Guess what we're up to today? As the title says, Dendrobium exili is going on the move. Why am I doing this? Well, let me just see if I can get this in focus. This is not what I'm doing it, but I have to be careful here because I believe those are little buds growing. So this little guy is from Thailand and China. And I got him growing in a small pot upright. And I thought, well, this is actually really good because I can put them on my inorganic mount. Very, very fine roots. You can see, maybe you can see a new root growing right here. And I'm like, yeah, I can do this. I'm gonna do this pendant. And well, little guy wasn't doing so well until it grew this new growth here. And it wants to go upright. So I'm thinking, yeah, this growth might develop as well. I don't know if it's just one of those mini ones and then we'll get another more mature one. So that last year I just let it go. Now it's growing another new growth right here. And it's not, it's not going pendant, it's moving up. I am not going to take it off the mount, but I am going to pot it up, if that makes sense. I have brought all my kit and caboodle here in case I need it, just in case. Even wire in case I wanted to support, and the little green wire I use to support it around the white wire. But I'm not sure that I am actually going to be needing this at all. So let's have a look. We're going to take this off, get all the moss off, and then um, reduce the size of the mount to fit into the pot. So thank you very much for joining me. This is the solution that I have come up with for this dendrobium. And I hope that it works. At least this way I won't need to support it. I won't need to take it off the mount. The beauty of inorganic mounts comes into play here. Even if I don't remove all the fishing line, it doesn't matter. It might actually be better that I don't but I want this moss off because I'm going to replace it with ceramis around the roots. There we go. I am not chopping these roots off. They are staying as they are. I may actually just use the top layer of my, look at that. I hope you can see that. Here's one. I am just going to let this moss be. This is precious to me. But I am, am I going to take the fishing line off that I've cut it or just leave it? I know it might look messy, but there is a method in my madness. Well, it's coming off, so we'll just take it off. Okay. Yes, there's method in my madness. This is a little miniature. It's got the tiniest, tiniest, gorgeous little white flowers. And they smell of the most delicious, elegant talcum powder. If you were to go and buy something like that. Very expensive talcum powder. So let me take this off right here. We won't be needing the hook. And let's prepare the pots. My idea is to use ceramis on the bottom 
so that it has the wicking effect. The pot is set up to be a semi-hydro. Early days when I drilled those holes, there is absolutely no need to drill them that far apart. Okay, this is going to be interesting because I'm quite far away from the pot, but I think this is a better angle. Okay, so we've got ceramics up to the whole line, like that. And now, I believe, I need to chop the mount down in a bit of size. So I'm going to use my clippers. And watch that new growth. Note to self. Oh, it's coming off. All right, never mind. Never mind. We're going to take the mount down a notch. There we go. Check it. And it can go down a little bit more. There we go. That could work, maybe just a tad more. I know this looks really weird, but I think it's going to work like that. All right. I'm going to tie some more fishing line onto that mount to secure the exile on it. The beauty of this stuff is that you don't have to do a slip knot. Just secure some on the edge. There we go. And then get Exili on here. These roots are probably dead, the ones on the lower level, but that's okay. It is producing new roots. I'm just gonna do two little loops and all these little nooks and crannies here are perfect for getting fishing line in and attached. Just turn you around, just keeping an eye on that new growth. And then tie you off. Sorry that I'm quiet, I'm just concentrating. want to get that tied off and then we shall proceed with what I'm thinking of doing here. One and two. You're all set. It's a gorgeous day, not too hot yet. There we go. That's got you secured. Now let's have a look. So this little guy coming from Thailand and China and that area is considered like a winter rester. So I can control the watering and everything in this inorganic setup. Just like I did when it was winter. However, 
I didn't follow the rules exactly exactly because you can see what a small weak little plant it is and I may consider not even putting any lava rock on at all. I wanted it to replicate my Dendrobium tetragonum with the lava rock on the bottom. But I don't think that will be necessary here. Maybe I'll put lava rock right on the top just to keep the, keep the algae in check. But you see with this mount thing, I don't have to secure the plant with a stake, which at this point you can see is pretty impossible considering its condition being so small. Where do I secure it? It would be wobbly. I'm giving it a better chance in my opinion by doing it like this. Okay, I'm going to put the lava rock on top so that I can be a little bit more heavy on the watering side early days. Yeah, that'll work well. It might give the impression, <laughs> I wouldn't blame you, that I am actually removing everything off my mounts and putting them into pots. And if you've been in my channel for since the start, you know that I have space issues. I don't have enough space for my plants <clears throat> in the winter on the inside. But this year, this guy is gonna stay outside because he can take temperatures down to 10 degrees Celsius in the winter and I can do I can provide that my temperatures normally go down to five the worst case scenario five but I can provide ten where this guy can live so I'm okay real estate during the summer it's the winter I have to be cautious of but because he is a cool to warm grower he can take a variety of temperatures he can be in a pot and I've been waiting for this moment because I've been watching him and I want to be able to do this little guy justice in my environment. And if he wants to grow upright, so be it. I'm going to let him grow upright. And now that little growth, I hope, won't prove me wrong. I'm hoping that it will actually now go up because this one wanted to here with a curve turn to the light. So we shall see, and maybe these little guys up here, maybe they will bloom. Now we need to give it some serious amount of water. I've taken quite a bit of moss off the base. Even if the roots may not be viable, it still needs that humidity that it is used to. So being a winter rester, I haven't actually done the winter rest for it. As I mentioned, it's, a, it's too small for that, in my opinion. I keep watering it throughout the winter. I don't fertilize it, obviously, if it's not growing. This is now full fertilized water with some seaweed at 300 ppm. And the reason I'm comfortable with that is because I didn't use any hydrogen peroxide. So this one's going to live with its back now facing the light. So exactly how you see it now is how it's going to be placed on the shelf in my prime real estate area. The light coming from this direction over here. I want to see what happens with this growth. I want this growth to go upright and I want to see if this one will pick up and go to that light. So in the mask you go. People are coming and leaving as per usual and fingers crossed that this plan works. So it's actually not off the mount but it's in a pot and that is why I like inorganic media because if you can need to adjust you are doing the least amount of disturbance to the roots. My mounts, I love these inorganic mounts as well and I have plenty more where that came from. I will do a mounting video one day because there is an orchid that I need to mount and uh, show you how I do it onto these inorganic mounts. Fingers crossed that Exile actually grows upright the way I suspect it. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Questions, anything at all, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. 
thank you so much everybody for watching you have no idea i can't express how much i appreciate everybody and i'll see you next time bye